What's good, Coach Colin Castell here with Shaw Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm here with Coach DJ Shaw, our head of player development, who's going to help teach you how to finish over taller defenders. This video is brought to you by my guys over at East Bay, the home of exclusive sneaker colorways and unlimited gear possibilities, shot by sport, brand, or even signature player. And right now they have some killer discounts to go along with their everyday free shipping. So click the link in the description to snag the best hoops gear today. So finishing over taller defenders is extremely important to your game. Now, especially if you're a shorter player, right, like some of us that aren't blessed with like super crazy six seven six eight height it's really important to be able to kind of get into that paint but still finish amongst the trees so today what dj is going to do is he's going to give us three awesome finishes that are kind of the giant killers once you reach that paint but before we jump into it you definitely want to click the top link in the description down below and get coach dj scoring secrets classified these are some tick or some tricks and some tips that are going to help you score more points almost immediately so it's really great stuff you definitely want to click check it out and it's 100 free so dj as we're kind of starting to think about you know finishing over the taller defenders, what's kind of maybe the first finish that a player wants to have in their package? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the awkward finish. So a lot of players are used to the traditional finish. So, you know, when we're, when we're a youth player developing, we're just taught to come into a lay-in and plant with our left foot and come up and drive our right foot up, finishing with our right hand. So what this does, if it's a taller defender, he doesn't have a barrier between him and the ball, and he's got to play on this ball, especially if he's got a significant height advantage. So what we want to do with the awkward finish is we're finishing almost a step sooner, and we're also driving our inside knee up in the defender's chest to give us a little barrier of protection. Now, while you're in the air with your left foot, you're going to actually drive your right knee back up like you're doing a, a normal finish. So this is a really huge, huge, huge skill that you can do to improve your finishing and your percentage in the key. All right, so I'm a huge 80s hip hop head. So I love the boombox finish. So what that is essentially is keeping the ball on the outside and keeping it away from the middle. A lot of youth players and even college level players, pro level players, when they're driving to the basket, the defender's on the inside and I'm coming to finish. To get that gathering momentum, a lot of times they bring it over the top and then swing it back out to the outside. That gives the defender an opportunity to get a play on the ball that results in a jump ball or a strip. So what we want to do is just work on keeping that ball, as if I'm on the right side, I want to keep it on the right side of my body. So if I'm making a play on Coach Collin, I'm pounding immediately and then bringing it up to my shoulder like I'm carrying a boom box and finishing high on the glass. So I take it from my shoulder and work on finishing high. Right, another essential move for a smaller player is the shoulder dip. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, drive to the hoop and I'm gonna come to a two foot gather. And so when I'm coming in, I got a taller defender on me, I'm gonna come to a two foot stop and then immediately when I get here, I'm gonna lean in and then I'm gonna load my left hip and I'm actually gonna push back and try to get an outside finish with my right hand. That gives me an opportunity to get high on the glass, which creates a barrier separation between the defender and the offensive player. All right, so if this video helped you out, you're gonna wanna do a few things. Number one, hit that like button, then head to the comment section down below and let us know what sort of video you wanna see next. DJ and I are making some fire content and we wanna know what you wanna see, so let us know in the description down below. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, a couple things you're gonna wanna do. Number one, hit that subscription button because we put out videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. And the second thing you're gonna wanna do is click the top link in the description down below and get Coach DJ's Scoring Secrets Classified. These are three of the best secrets that are gonna help you score the basketball better almost immediately. So a lot of players see an increase in their scoring average the very first time they use them because it's kind of that next level stuff and it's what DJ is an absolute master at. So if you wanna get that 100% free, all you gotta do is hit the top link in the description down below. Again, I'm Coach Collin with Shot Mechanics Basketball. I'm here with Coach DJ with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And until next time, splash on.